There was no uh, PC pipes around the place like there is today. They were all cast iron pipes, so therefore everything was made in cast iron. When the metal was uh, put into the foundry, coke, but not coal, coke, with the furnace up there that was heated up. Well, that would melt and go down into the bottom. When they got a certain amount of, of uh, melt metal in the bottom of the foundry, they had a trough out the, out the front of the furnace and they'd just have a, like a crowbar with a sharp point on it. They'd prod the hole where the metal used to come out and that would run out and fill up your ladle. Well, then they'd have some, a bit of mud on a, another flat iron and they'd plug that hole up. Well then that was taken in to where the uh, moulds had been made and they had weights on them that there and they just pour those through a hole in the mould in the sand and fill it up. When it was all cold, they knocked it out and there you had your, your job made. For everything you wanted to make, you had to have a special pattern made to, to do it. And that's the, just the way it went. In those days, we had to make them all by hand. Well, now a lot of them are made in a machine, and you can make them in half the time. If we, we might take a day to make one pattern up. Today, you make three or four or five or six. Actually, when I first come here, when Gordon was working the furnace, it used to wind the bloody handle, and it used to take the bin of coke right up to the top of the, 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 the furnace and it used to drop it in. Yeah. But we've come a long way since then. Back then there was all PMG uh, and pipes, of course. But now we make a lot of stuff for um, uh, another foundry in, in Sydney, Fidex foundry, like fittings for Westinghouse and all that. Make a lot of manifolds, uh, uh, fire grates for all fireplaces, all the time fireplace, all that sort of stuff. All heritage stuff, we make a lot of columns, uh, balustrades, uh, corner freezers, all that sort of stuff. You know, that back when I first started here, that wasn't even thought of. We make everything, garden furniture, antique garden furniture, um, anything made out of cast iron, we make it now, because we, we, got, we got the stuff where we can make it, and back in Gordon's day, you didn't have, you didn't have the equipment to make it. This is a bush, bush baby pattern. Um, it's, made, it's made out of fiberglass. It, it was set in plaster, and then we then we carved it out and made a fiberglass pattern out of it. Then to mould it, we put it we put a box a box frame around this to mould it in green sand. It's got pins coming through here, and we mould one half. We put down the ground. We ram sand into it. We make one half, and then, then we turn the box over, and it becomes the other half, the back. And then we mould it, and then we cut a runner. We cut a runner in, in the middle so it, the metal can run all the way over it. When, after we pour the metal in, we, um, we leave it for about three or four hours and then we knock it out. Uh, knock all this runner system off. Uh, then it goes up in the dressing shop and then it gets dressed all, all around the edge of it and then uh, gets painted and therefore it, it makes eight bush babies. I wore this hat all the time. I would say that that hat would be at least uh, nearly 50 roll. That's the result of it. A ventilator. <laughs>